Hi guys. What do we have today? We have predictions for 3 NBA games for December 6th. So, let's get started. Detroit Pistons and Miami Heat. The Pistons are struggling as they have dropped 4 of their past 5 games. For the Heat, this is a back-to-back -back match. They have been in pretty good form, winning 4 of their last 6 games. The Heat are currently totally fit, but up until recently, they regularly dealt with injuries. The second game in a back-to-back -back is always a risky situation because you never know who will play. They are not a youthful team, they have played three games in the previous four days, and this will surely affect how they play. The Pistons aren't on the radar of just non-sports bettors. They are among the top teams for bettors this season. Even though the Pistons frequently lose games, they will still cover the spread. The Pistons have covered the spread in each of their past four meetings between the two teams in Miami. The Heat have failed to cover the spread in three of their last four back-to-back -back games, while the Pistons have covered the spread in five of their last six away games. As I mentioned, the line is pretty high for this game, particularly given that the Heat are playing their third game in four days, and are playing on zero days rest. I'll take three points and a rested team here. Play Detroit Pistons plus 9. Los Angeles Lakers and Cleveland Cavaliers. The Lakers have been in excellent form, winning 8 of their last 10 games. The Cavaliers have been playing well lately, having won 7 of their previous 10 games, but their latest game against the inferior Knicks was not their best. The Lakers have won and covered the spread in 3 of the last 4 meetings between these two teams in Cleveland. The Lakers have been third in offensive efficiency during their previous six games, scoring 122 points per 100 possessions and giving up 114 points per 100 possessions, while the Cavaliers have averaged just 105 points per 100 possessions over this period and giving up 103 points per 100 possessions. The performance of one player is the only factor influencing the Lakers' recent success in every aspect of their playing. Their three-game winning run and eight victories in their previous ten games are both directly attributable to Anthony Davis. If AD is in the appropriate mindset and healthy, the Lakers will certainly win and cover the spread here. However, if AD play badly today, we can safely predict how the Lakers will perform. We are all aware that the Lakers' impressive performance thus far will only last as long as AD is healthy. Of course, James shouldn't be overlooked either since he plays his best ball on his home court. Play Los Angeles Lakers plus 5. Dallas Mavericks and Denver Nuggets. For the Mavericks, this is back-to-back -back in the third game in four days. With five losses in their last eight games, they haven't been playing well lately and have been in a bit of a slump. Although the Nuggets have won five of their previous eight games, their recent two performances have been less than good. A back-to-back -back here is coming to an end for the Mavericks. Although they haven't been playing well lately, they played excellent ball last night against the Suns. Luka once again played great ball, but unlike the previous games, he got a lot of help from his teammates. With back-to-back -back defeats, the Nuggets have a little bit cooled off. They play in streaks, both winning streaks and losing streaks, as I've already mentioned. They now have two straight losses, but I expect this to be their third straight loss. Every Nuggets game I see serves as further proof that they require a new, better coach. Michael Malone has, in my opinion, given this squad everything he has to offer and cannot provide anything more. In the last five games between those two teams in Denver, the Mavericks have covered the spread in four of them. Play Dallas Mavericks plus five. Guys, that would be all. See you tomorrow.